All right, all right, all right. Welcome back, guys. Uh, yep, we're here, uh, right here in the shop in what I hope looks like a very good setup. I've been, oh, man, you guys, y'all don't care, but man, I've been working hard <laughs> getting this set up just right with lights and, and uh, we got overhead things and yeah. So, hope it looks good. I'm really excited. Welcome <laughs> to the unboxing of the all new not so secret secret Rorock Berserker helmet. So, let's see uh, what this is that I was supposed to have already talked about. The Berserker card, this was a, uh, so it will be revealed July 15th. Do not open until then. Today currently is July 26th. I am finally sitting down to do something I should have done a long time ago. We're gonna unbox this thing. It's gonna be a first impressions because I'm running super late. This is gonna be a super short video because I just wanna check this thing out. I wanna get it out in time because July 28th. And this video is about drop two though, Berserker specifically. So the helmet drops London time at midnight. You can pre-register on their website. It's linked down below for the new helmets. On the East Coast, London is five hours in advance to the East Coast. So we gotta get some information out. So you guys know when you can check these helmets out for real. It's mostly just been a teaser up to this point, but July 28th, you'll be able to click on the website, you'll be able to see all the stuff. We'll look at colors and stuff, but I really just wanna see what this thing is. I'm a little, I'm a little cramped in my camera angles. Let's see what we got here. Oh, hit a microphone. Oh, nice. The bottom I find some some black plastic tabs. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's gone forever. It hit the floor. It's a bottle opener and some sort of tool, I guess. I don't know. Where is that over there? Some do not eat. I'll be honest, because this isn't live on the website, I have no idea what actually comes with this helmet. I have a general idea. This is, uh, I'm working with Rorock to bring you this this uh, content, so thank you, Rorock. So I don't know, uh, the, like, you, you don't just get a hat because you bought a helmet, but they do have hats on the website. It's actually a really high quality hat, too. I, I, uh, I just came out with my own hats, Maxwell Motorcycle hats. I shopped a lot, did a lot of uh, design uh, things. I know that this raised R, double R that Rorock uses is, uh, that's quality, buddy. That's not cheap. Oh man, that looks so sick, all black. Every time I see a picture of one of Rorock's helmets, I second guess the choice that I made. This does come in yours because it is gonna, it's got all the stuff on uh, how to do your helmet. Am I gonna read this? Probably not. I'm gonna hang that picture up. More probable than me reading the instructions. Uh, lots of cool stickers. I need to start sticking these everywhere. I got a couple sticker packs from Murdoch. And oh, some information. Let's just look at it first. <sighs> oh, yes, sir. Can't have too many helmet bags. These work for so many things other than helmets. You guys, uh, let me know down below. Um, what else you use helmet bags for? Obviously this is more of a off-road helmet than what us Harley guys are gonna be used to uh, using. Uh, I picked the Hellfire uh, color scheme. Dude, this is actually really slick how these goggles fit like in the helmet, like legitimately in it. I did not realize that from the pictures. Got some goodies in here. Oh snap. It is, uh, you can put a shockwave in this helmet. There, it's got the little spot for it. A rock and rubber on the outside. Impressive. Oh, that this is, oh, yep, that's my tool. This is, when I first saw this helmet, I realized real quick that I was gonna need a new bike to match this helmet a little better. So, I picked a red and black helmet because, well, I want my next bike to be red. 
I don't know why, I just do. I mean, I mean, that thing might as well be a face shield. I wish I had time to ride this and see what kind of air gets between. I mean, that thing fits like a freaking glove, dude. Got some, uh, so as I understand it, what you get in the box when you buy this is a clear visor for this. So yeah, you get the clear, but they do offer some other ones. You do, I'm sure, I'm, I'm just sure of it. I really hope <gasps> it's not the Fidlock system that they use on the Atlas 2.0. It's a regular standard double D ring, <laughs> you know, regular helmet stuff. Once labels are removed, the helmet is no longer viable for a return. Don't worry, Rock, you ain't getting this one back anyway. Oh yeah. Fits good. It is a large, I wear a large helmet. Uh, I wear a large in all their helmets. This one does feel a little more snug, not like a, a hurtful snug. Nah, uh, it feels the same. Who am I kidding? So I wear a large in all the brands of helmets that I wear, where I concluded. Oh, money. Woo. Yeah, that's freaking cool. Not much of a Harley Davidson style helmet, which is why I am absolutely going to need a new one, a bike, a bike that is to match this. This is, this is cool. So options have for the Berserker in the color scheme is very similar to the Atlas 2.0 minus the four new ones that they've come out with that is coming out in a video very soon. The Atlas 2.0 did just drop some new visor colors. The Berserker comes out with the magnetic, are these magnetic? Yeah, they're magnetic somehow. I wish they had a red. That's as close, orange is as close as I'm gonna be able to get though. No, wait, red, red is right here. Woo. <laughs> oh, snap. It's on. It is freaking on. All right, pop there, pop there. Lens out. Got little magnets in there. Oh, oh my, oh God. That, whoo Oh my goodness. Man, that is freaking slick. That seems like a really good fit. Okay, so you got a little bit of airflow right there at the eyebrow, right there. Goes through that, through the, the actual mask itself. Cool. Oh man, I need, a, I need, I need to start off road. I do like a double D ring in the fact it's it's tight the whole like I just I leave it connected. Put a helmet on a little weird, pull it tight, bam, snap it back over here. When it's time to take it off, just pull a little red tab a little bit, you know, and just get out of there. Okay, what? There we go. I like that. With the beard, I don't. Uh, nothing's ever in the way of the beard. I just instantly pull and tug and yeah. Oh man, yes, sir. Yeah, all of that seems pretty, pretty darn tight. So up front, you do have the same uh, airflow right there. You have some airflow up top, it looks like, some exhaust vents out the back. The side vent is just a, plenty of exhaust vents out the back. Looks like you would wanna make sure you're strap is low enough to not block those. These are just 
decorative, it just adds some aesthetics to it. Red doesn't match the red real well. The orange almost looks like it might be closer. Let's see if I can do it while it's still sitting on the helmet. Let's peel this off. Oh, that might be skewing my... Dude, that snaps in so freaking easy. Holy cow. Yeah, that's sick, dude. Woo. Very impressed. Uh, I think I failed to mention in the very beginning, before we started looking at all this stuff, we got sidetracked. I've actually known about Rurox since, um, man, a couple years before they came out with the Moto line of helmets. They've been a snowboard helmet company for a long time. Actually found Rurock because of a dude in New York on YouTube, Sam Schiffer. Schiffer. You know, I don't know his last name. Sam. Rides a boosted board, one of those electronic skateboards, wears a chromed out Rurock helmet that's actually made for snowboarding. So I looked up the company though, cause it's a pretty uh, innovative looking helmet, kind of out there, wild, crazy, like, hey, who are these people over in the UK? So I looked them up and found out that the Atlas line was coming. That's, I've pretty much been following Rurock since, and I've been very impressed with the look of their helmets. So uh, seeing their first venture into the off-road game, Once again, very impressed with that magnetic system for the goggles, the whole look of it. It still looks like the Atlas, but it's for off-road bikes. So you can wear it with the Peak. You can wear it with or without the goggles, of course. A couple of different, um, you know, options there. The, uh, the vents open and close. I think I mentioned that. Uh, it is a carbon fiber shell, just like what we would expect from Rurock at this point. Uh, I could go through all the lenses, but let's get real. Yeah, you know, I mean, y'all seen it, it's freaking cool. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the video. So like I said, this lineup goes live, depending on when you're watching this, let's be honest, you probably, you, you already, uh, I'm, I'm late to the game. Everybody already has their videos out. <laughs> what do you do? So that's it. Check it out, Berserker. Everything for Rurock is linked down in the description below. So you can pre-register to order it if it's somehow before 7 p.m. on Monday evening, right? Yeah, Eastern Standard Time uh, goes live midnight London time the 28th. You feel me? Hope you all can do all that world clock math. Apparently if you ask Siri, it's not gonna work. Guys, if you like this video, make sure to get a big dirty thumbs up. If you wanna see more content, about my new shop, about new gear, about motorcycle stuff. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't quite got your fix. There's a video right here and here, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.